Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Monday. Yep, it is Monday. And you know what that means? It's the first day of the week. That's right. No, it's deck review time. Every Monday, or at least I try, I try every Monday to show you a brand new deck of cards. Lately, I've been getting more cards than usual. So new cards coming out, which is cool. And uh, some deck designers have been sending me some new cards. So that's great. That means we're picking it back up again, right? Getting the cards back out into the hands of the people. These would be the people's hands, symbolically. Uh, because I like card tricks. I like card tricks. I like magic tricks with cards. That's the same thing. You need cards for that, right? You need cards, so it's good to talk about cards because they are the building blocks of which we do the card tricks with. And gonna show you the Carrot Bamboo 4x3 12 deck display. These are made from Carrot Case, they're 40 bucks. I'll be talking about this a little later. And let me see which ones we're going to review today. How about these? The number seven United Cardist 2019 deck from Montenzi. Yep, number seven, United Cardis. Uh, every single year, the forum, United Cardis, puts out a deck for their fans, their subscribers, their followers, their friends, and everybody else, right? This was a Kickstarter, Kickstarter release. Uh, it's been a Kickstarter release, um, I think, since the beginning, right? Since the beginning. And the very first United Cardis deck, the very first deck, uh, actually held a very special place in my heart for a really long time because it was one of my very favorite decks. Uh, Randy Butterfield did that deck and it was awesome. And every subsequent deck has been awesome. And uh, if you don't know about United Cardists, I would definitely recommend that you head down there. It's a forum for card lovers. If you like playing cards, you should be part of that community. You should be part of that community. There are people that get together like-minded to talk about playing cards and the things that they love. And uh, Montenzi is a part of that group. And through discussions in the forums, this deck evolved over time. I think originally at first, uh, they weren't even gonna put out a borderless deck and now you got two. Now you got two borderless decks because of the fans and that community working side by side with the creators to build this awesome deck. And if you'd like to pick up this deck uh, or do a pre-sale, you can head on over to montenzi.nz. All right, so Montenzi Design, uh, they're based out of New Zealand. And you might remember they also did Hello Tiki and the Neo Wave and the Neo Limited decks. I reviewed all of those as well. I actually did a giveaway for the number seven deck already. That's right. If you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen I gave away all three of these decks. I gave away a full set pretty much the week I got them in the mail. So before I even did a review, I was already giving these decks away. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram if you like cards and playing card giveaways. I also do giveaways here on YouTube as well. So make sure you're a subscriber. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe so that you're alerted and you get those notifications when my giveaways go live. The base deck of all three is the classic deck. It is green and they made 1,120 of these from Carta Mooney on the premium True Linen B9 Slimline stock. And Montenzi said that these decks were inspired by 100 year old linoleum catalogs found searching through museum archives. The tuck case has that beautiful design on the front and you have a pattern that wraps all the way around the edges. There's no writing. There's no writing even on the bottom. The back says number seven and it explains that this is the seventh annual deck from United Cardis, classic edition. And the large tongue flap says number seven. The back design is that same image we saw from the tuck case. And you'll see that it is a borderless back design and beautifully done with cold foil. And you're gonna get that cold foil on the tuck case and both sides of the cards. I don't know anybody that can do this, but Cardamundi and on the B9 stock, they just feel awesome. If you flip it over to look at the faces, you're going to see original pips and indices, which is how Montenzi does things. They completely redo things from the ground up and they are artists. Uh, you got quad pip design, which means you can look at that card from any angle, any corner, and you're going to see the pip and indice. Fully custom quartz, redesigned faces, 
redesigned hairstyles, redesigned clothing and weapons. Uh, the pips have even been redesigned. Everything is gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. That just pops and that foil just stands out so well. And your four aces, everything looks organic. It looks like it's growing, right? That ace of spades says United Cardists. It says UC 2019. And then the diamond is just absolutely gorgeous. It says designed by Montenzi. It's the artist's ace. Your ace of clubs looks like a little tulip. And your ace of hearts, again, very organic. It's got something growing in the center with these ribbon work coming off the edges. With this deck, you'll get two jokers, one blue, one red. It's like a jester's cap, jester's face laughing at one another. And then you get two double backers, um, but they're not really double backers because the opposite side is more of a diamond shape pattern, like a grid shape pattern. The classic deck is the middle of the road deck, 10 cards in the caliper come to 2.68. So what's the difference between the classic deck and the borderless green? Uh, the borderless green deck, there's a little bit more of them made, 1,178. Again, you're gonna have a new pattern on the front, but this time the pattern wraps around the tuck case. Again, no words until you get to the back where it says number seven, seventh annual deck, United Cardis. Again, the tuck flap says number seven, but pulling the cards out, we now see a new back design. Again, an organic flowery type image, beautifully done in cold foil. You can just see that reflection against the light. I'm trying to show you the light reflection on all of these decks as much as possible. How they would look fanned and spread out. You can see that kind of cigar band pattern that exists in there. Beautiful corners and edges. Everything else on the faces, again, is gonna be the same as the classic deck completely the same. So you're going to get the same uh, double backers that came with the deck. You're going to get the same jokers that came with the deck, same aces, same pips and indices, same court cards, same everything. Everything's absolutely identical on the faces. The only difference is that eye catching back design. Uh, 10 cards of the borderless green in the caliper come to 2.67. So what's the difference between borderless green and borderless purple. Well, the difference here is it's purple and not green, but it's the same pattern. So front of the tuck case, design work wise, identical, but new colors. So now you have like that light purple, the dark purple, the gold, again, wrapping all the way around, nothing on the sides and edges. It says number seven on the back, number seven on the large tuck flap, pulling the cards out again, beautiful cold foil backs, the same pattern, right? Same design, same artwork, same beautiful spreads, same beautiful fans, but this time new color, borderless purple. Rolling them over to the faces. Now here's, here's the difference. Okay. Same design work, right? Same double backers, same jokers, same aces, same pips and indices, same court cards, same coloring, but instead of a green back, it's purple back. And everything's full bleed all the way to the edges. There's no borders on the backs, no borders on the faces. And again, all three decks, cold foil on the tuck case, fronts and backs of the cards printed on the premium B9 finish from Cardamundi. And if you like these decks, you didn't get a chance to pick them up, you missed the Kickstarter, head on down to montenzi.nz. I'm storing mine along with all of these other decks that we haven't yet reviewed in the Carrot Bamboo 4x3 12 deck display that you can pick up for about 40 bucks. Uh, it's even got a lid and it's also eco-friendly, made from sustainably sourced natural bamboo coated with environmentally friendly varnish. And it's gonna allow you to elegantly display and store your decks. Aside from being made out of bamboo, the lid also has a two millimeter acrylic plate that allows you to clearly view your decks at the same time, keeping them protected from damage. All right, that's everything I can say about the number seven United Cardis deck from Montenzi Design. Like I said, head on down to montenzi.nz. I wanna thank Montenzi for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, and I would, head on down to montenzi.nz. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.